We're group A and this is Nana. Hello. This is Sara. Hi. This is Shamras. Hi, my name is Shamras. This is Bella. How do you? And my name is Simran. We're going to provide a short history of computing. This presentation covers the contribution to computing by the following. Charles Babbage, Alan Turing, Tim Berners-Lee and Bill Gates. Following on from that, in part two, we'll cover a short comparison between the individuals mentioned over on the right hand side. Uh, in part three, it will be what the future holds for computing from this year onwards, so 2016 onwards. So in this slide, we'll be introducing a, a very well-known man known as the father of computing, Charles Babbage who was born on the 26th of December 1791 and sadly passed away in his home in London on the 18th of October 1871. Charles was mainly educated in London up until he went to Cambridge University in 1810 uh, where he graduated and after, graduati after graduating he was hired by the Royal Institute to lecture on calculus. In Charles's time mathematical tables were calculated by humans by hand which meant that errors could be made um, that affected calculation uh, as well as well as transcription. Um, the tables were central to navigation, science and engineering and also mathematics. Uh, at Cambridge, Charles saw the downside of this, of this process and he decided that now would be the best time to implement mechanisation into its management to stop all the problems and the, the miscalculation happening. Charles invented the difference engine one, what we mentioned in the last slide, to stop the, uh, the miscalculations and also the math mathematic solutions. He, so he designed the difference engine one to help with the mathematical tables. He completed it in 1832 and the difference engine allowed him to conceive the idea of a better machine that could perform not just mathematical tasks but any kind of calculation. So, the human error was totally removed from the process. Um, he did, however, design the difference engine too, but unfortunately never lived to actually see one built. Charles began his work in 1834 on the first computer, also known as the analytical engine. He visioned that the computer should be made out of brass fittings and for it to be powered by steam. In 1837, Charles then proposed that the first general mechanical computer, the analytical engine, uh, the analytical, the analytical excuse me, engine contained an ALU, known as the Arithmetic Logic Unit, Basic Flow Control, and punch cards. These were inspired by Jacquard Loom, and Integrated Memory is the first general purpose computer concept. Charles also achieved amazing results in cryptography using his mathematical expertise in his day. He did break the Visionaire's auto key cipher, which was thought to be unbreakable. Um, upon his discovery, he was used in the English military campaigns and therefore news of his achievements were not published until several years later. Alan Turing was born in 1912 and died in 1954. He gained a first class honours in mathematics from King's College in Cambridge and he obtained his PhD in 1938 from Princeton. He studied cryptology and built three stages out of, out of four of an electromechanical binary multiplier. He became the founder of computer science and arguably artificial intelligence. Built in 1936, the Turing machine was Sir Alan Turing's first computer invention. In spite of its complexity, the Turing machine could simulate any computer algorithm at the time. The aim was to create the simplest machine that he could, and that was to perform simple computation. An infinitely long log tape acts as the memory in a typical computer and it has three basic state operations. This is blank, zero and one. A mathematician Alonzo Church also stated about the machine that it cannot be a more powerful computational system and however it is argued that the mind is more powerful. The Turing machine had an influence in breaking German ciphers. Turing's mathematical background allowed him to create a machine that produced an ever-changing alphabetic substitution. The ciphers it produced were supposed to be unbreakable even by someone using the machine. So what was Turing's solution to decoding the Enigma? 
The solution was the British bomb, and this was designed in 1939 to decode and messages from the Enigma. It was first used in May 1940 to crack the German Air Force messages. The only information that was needed was the hardware spec of the Enigma, and using a plain text crib, about 20 letters could be guessed accurately. Turing then went on to ask a historic question, can computers think? It wasn't until two years after Turing's death that this concept became known as artificial intelligence. Evidence was hard to come by to answer the question of AI. However, the Turing test was an experiment designed by Sir Alan Turing to establish if a machine was capable of thinking. The test involves separating a computer and a person from an interrogator who has to guess who is who by asking certain questions and studying the written replies. The computer's aim is to fool the interrogator whilst the person must aid them. In more recent times, a competition with the prize money of £100,000 was set up by Hugh Loebner to see if anyone could create a machine that would pass the Turing test, but this is still yet to be passed. Now I'm going to talk about uh, Tim Berners-Lee. He's the founder of uh, World Wide Web. Um, he was born in London, England in 1955 and now he's age 61. Uh, he's the computer science uh, director uh, for W3C and uh, he had studied in uh, Queen's College in Oxford. Uh, he's the best known for first sexual, uh, sexual uh, communication between HTTP clients and server uh, via the internet. Uh, World Wide, uh, Wide uh, Web is an information system uh, on the internet which allows documents to be co connected to, uh, to other documents by the hypertext links and it allows people uh, to work together by uh, combining their knowledge and their web uh, of hypertext documents. It reduces the difficulty of uh, embellishment with server and uh, browser. Uh, in 1989, Bernersley issued the proposal of management uh, to CERN uh, for uh, a system called MEMESH that uh, represented uh, Inquire. So, what is Inquire? Inquire is a software project written in 1980 by Tim Bernersley uh, at CERN and it has a page called Cards and a hyperlink within the Cards. The World Wide Web was created to unify uh, the different exacting system to a like Inquire. And Inquire, uh, the program, uh, was never released to uh, the public use, and it, ha it was written in uh, Pascal programming language. The creation of the world's first website took place in the year 1990, but was made available on August 6, 1991. The, world's, the World Wide Web sits on top of the internet and is a fundamental part in the process. When introduced, the internet was originally static pages, enabled documents to be searched and shared. It revolutionized history and led to the upheaval of politics, governments being overthrown, and the discovery of the world's well-known businesses around today. In a research conducted, young people's votes in the 2015 general election were more influenced by social media than by any other source. Over the campaign, there were 21 million political comments on Facebook and 10 million tweets about politicians. For young people, social media influenced their votes more than newspaper or the polls. While Labour had relied on Twitter, the Tories used the financial power to buy Facebook advertisement to cut through the digital nodes to reach floating voters. Those who have the power of social media often point to the role of Facebook in mobilising social outrage during the Arab Spring. Millions of people participated in the demonstration that brought down Hosni Mubarak in Egypt. It changed the social contact within the world as we are using social media technologies such as Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, WhatsApp as our means of communicating. Although we have to pay an ISP to be plugged into the internet, the web, the web itself is a free subject to an agreement by Sir Tim Berners-Lee. The World Wide Web, the first web browser and editor, was created in 1990 and was the only way to view the website during that time. The first server created was called HTTP and was written by Tim Burns following the creation of the first web browser. Tim wrote three essential technologies, HTML, markup language for the web, URI, distinctive address identifier to discover web resources, and HTTP, the protocol which retrieves link resources.
The World Wide Web Foundation was established in 2009 in partnership with 160 organizations which focuses on three key aspects of human rights online. Expand web access to 60% of people without internet, internet. Ensure everyone's voices are heard online so that the web serves people and not specific organizations such as governments. Innovate to ensure data is freely accessible at all time and work has already begun, initiated and improved the policies and practices in more than 10 countries across the world. Bill Gates was born in 1955 and co-founded Microsoft along school friend Paul Allen. The business leader accelerated the development for operating systems for commercial use and set the standard for businesses. As Microsoft expanded, Gates' fortune reached $78.7 billion. He has since taken a step back where his current stake of 4% is worth $13.3 billion. In Gates' early years, he wrote a computer program to computerize the school's payroll system. His abilities in computer science soon led to the formation of his initial company called Traffic Data. This is where they sold traffic data to large companies. During his junior years at Harvard, Gates dropped out from his university course uh, to form Microsoft with fellow friend and computing enthusiast Paul Allen. The initial concept behind Microsoft was to develop the popular large-scale computing language called BASIC, but for microcomputers. This, this operating system was then led to be used in IBM's first computer called the IBM PC. MS-DOS is the first iteration of the Windows OS system, which was written by Tim Patterson in August 1981. The operating system itself provided users with a command line navigation system, which was a huge step in computing at this time. The news of an operating system for microcomputers sparked the interest of IBM and they developed it for their new PC called the IBM PC. Under the contract signed with IBM, IBM agreed to pay Microsoft a total of $430,000. At this point, they were looking at giving them $310,000 for the various 16-bit languages. The deal with IBM turned other PC makers to Microsoft Technologies, resulting in Gates becoming a billionaire in 1986. Windows 95 was the first Microsoft operating system to use a 32-bit architecture, but was also designed to be compatible with 16-bit DOS programs. The operating system was one of the first Microsoft products to have a graphical user interface and a taskbar and start menu. The early iteration of Windows did not include TCP IP protocols, therefore it did not include Win Internet Explorer. Windows 95 has three main virtual drivers, Virtual Machine Manager, Configuration Manager and Installable File System Manager. Windows Embedded Compact is a sub-operating system to other various Windows iterations. Original equipment manufacturers could license the software and modify it. This was popular for business devices such as PDAs that run off early versions of Windows CE. Later mobile OS OS's were configured off the base of the software, such as Auto PC, Pocket PC, Pocket PC 2000 and 2002, Windows Mobile 2003, and all the later for iterations of Windows Mobile. Other non-computer devices such as televisions were also used Windows CE for networking capabilities. XP was developed in the early stages of 1990, but was only released to the market in October 2001. The interactive GUI is based off Windows 95, but included added features for activity centers, photos, music, and communications. This was the first iteration of a Windows OS to require an activation key. XP set the standards for businesses, and it included major advances in internet-capable features such as remote desktop and communicator. Launched in November 2006, Windows Vista was subject to many negative views due to bugs and difficulties in modification. But shortly launched three years after Vista, Windows 7 restored Microsoft's reputation and also set the standard for businesses. In August 2012, Windows 8 was released to accommodate the rise in mobile computing, especially for tablets. The new start menu was a major change, which received mixed opinions. Windows 10 was released in July 2015, when the issues with the start menu were addressed and the introduction of a universal app system and multi-platform compatibility was introduced. In summary, Bill Gates had a profound effect on revolutionising industry standards and also commercialising operating system softwares. His net worth is $78.7 billion, making him one of the richest people on the planet. 
It's difficult to say who had the biggest impact in computing history, but Charles Babbage invented the mechanical computer which led to Turing, Berners-Lee and Gates achieving their milestones in computing history. It's difficult to quantify who had the biggest impact in history, however Turing's achievement in the win of, led to the win of World War II, which is a major event in history, which changed the world forever. Berners-Lee and Gates provided us with the platforms of computing as we know it today. Web-based technologies and operating systems have opened up doors for businesses and education, and have also led to bridge the link between people in other countries through communications. We would like to ask the question about what the future holds for technology. Will virtual reality be able to simulate a 3D environment and become a common piece of technology in households? Will smart things be able to connect everybody's computer devices, no matter the platform? The competitive opportunities that big data mining offers for businesses has become very much a reality. Perella, a supercomputing compu computer for the public? Will Google Glass finally become a commercial tool? These are the questions for the future. Thank you for listening to our presentation on a short history of computing. We would now like to ask you some questions. What was Charles Babbage best known as? In what year was the difference engine completed? Which shape could be filled with symbols to store data on the Turing machine memory tape? A. Circles B. Squares C. Triangles Has anyone been able to pass the Turing test? In what year was the world's first website created? Name the three backbone technologies for websites. What was the name of Bill Gates' company that sold traffic data? Windows 95 was the first Microsoft operating system to use a 32-bit architecture. True or false?